Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, first things first, I ended up noticing that I had been tagged in this uh, particular post by Troll Media Group uh, about freaking media. Uh, that his channel is gone. So, well, let's take a look. Now, uh, I couldn't find it on the uh, regular YouTube search, so I had to get a bit more creative. I've got this uh, website that I found that has links to a bunch of First Amendment auditors. So I figured I'd take a look at that, and I'll just give you a little bit of a little bit of a demonstration. See, like Bay Area transparency here. You'll see his pop up on this one, just to let you know it works. Uh, Chuck Bronson, his channel still running. Let's see. Uh, Delaware Defender, I haven't seen him in a long time. Still up. Has he done anything lately? No, not in a year. Anyway, let's go down to freaking media. Where are you at? There you are. Now, Freedom to Film, let's take a look at his channel right quick just to make sure. Auditing Texas, that's what he's called now. And he's up. Hasn't done anything in three months. Now, let's take a look at freaking media. Oh, something happened. Uh, this page isn't available. Sorry about that. Try searching for something else. Now, it has him down right here, so I don't know what has happened to him. So, I can only speculate as to the reason. Maybe he violated YouTube services or something like that. Or maybe the same thing that happened to Joey Surreal Camera, where it was just a temporary issue until they got it fixed. Who knows? But I figured I'd let you guys know. But whatever happened to uh, freaking media, yeah, uh, he'll probably find his way back on YouTube somehow. I mean, he just can't stay away. I mean, Michigan Constitutional Crusader it won't be the same without him. But at any rate, let's just go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this particular video, which is we find ourselves in Manatee County, Florida, with Joey Surreal Camera and Lana as they attempt to, uh, well, fraud at another courthouse, but, well, they don't make it too far in and they are kicked out fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, America? And we are at the Manatee County building out in Manatee County in Bradenton, Florida with J-Town Press. And we're out here uh, gonna take care of some legitimate business here. Exercise our First Amendment right. Respectful. Oh, Joey, I've never seen you respectful. Uh, can you please demonstrate that for us? Because it would be a nice change from your normal tyrant-like personality. You know, the one where you're always trying to... Uh, well, impose your will on everybody else, even if they don't want you around. That kind of personality? Yeah, we would like to see something different, please. And, um, see if, see if they behave themselves. Ready? Let's go. Manatee County, guys. What's up? Here we go. Oh, down here by his guy. Yeah, I know where you're talking about. Yeah, just straight down. Okay, this is 66. Make a left. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Come on. Here. All set? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, look at this. Hello. Is that your first? Um, recording here, are you? You're not recording here, are you? No, you can't record inside the building. Because it's administrative order, it's posted outside. Oh, no, ma'am. 
Oh, boo hoo hoo, Lana, shut your dang mouth and uh, go do some actual research. Because if you actually did any research, you would see uh, that the Manatee County is under the 12th Judicial Circuit Court system. And uh, according to this administrative order right here, which can be looked up on their website, yeah, uh, there is no filming in any of the areas of any courthouse and if this were unconstitutional i think this would have been addressed by now so don't even bother trying to use that argument because it won't fly in any court you're now bringing it in yeah you can have it back you just can't you just can't record inside the building okay you hear what i said Oh, yeah, Lana, there you go, crying about the Fourth Amendment uh, right there. How your rights are being violated because, well, you've got to go through a security checkpoint to make sure that you are not a dangerous felon or anything like that. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo. because you know what? They are not going to seize your property. They just want to take a look at your identification and make sure that you have none of the... Uh, Banned items that were listed on that board out there. I mean, it's just common damn sense, you nut job. But I guess intelligence and common damn sense uh, waved bye bye to these frauditors a long time ago, which is why we got to deal with them now. Okay. You can't record in the building. Okay. No, we're going to walk over here. I'm going to return it to you. Yeah, they're recording. Right. They're recording in the building. Oh. Here you go, folks. Right here. I, I would like my stuff back. I'm going to give it to you. What law says that you can't record it? Right here. Can I have my stuff back? Sir, I would like my stuff back. Sir, why are you doing that? You cannot record in the building. Yes, we can. This, this is law? a First Amendment right. Under what law? You're not coming in. Why are you with people? Sir, I would like access to a public building. Get a supervisor, please. Get your supervisor, Get your sir. Supervisor. I want to speak to your... Poor little frauditors can't handle being uh, booted out of a courthouse because, well, of administrative rules that are done by judges who probably know the Constitution a lot better than any of you frauditors and have pretty much studied their whole lives on laws and everything like that. Something that... Obviously, I know Joey hasn't done uh, one little bit because, uh, man, every time I do a video on him and he says he's done his research, well, I just got to point it out. And it's always freaking hilarious how he thinks he does his research. So let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage from the time he was kicked out of the Lee County Courthouse. Downtown. Ba bam. Federal rules and regulations to the property, to all federal properties, pretty much. Yeah, you know, Joey, uh, unlike your uh, pathetic little audience, I can actually read. And, you know, to be perfectly honest, Joey, I'm a little concerned about your ability to read it as well. So here we go. 41 CFR 102-47.42. Except where security regulations, rules, orders, or directives may apply or a federal court order or rule prohibits it, persons entering in or on federal property may take photographs of spaces occupied by a tenant agency for non-commercial purposes only with the permission of the occupying agency concerned, spaces occupied by a tenant agency for commercial purposes only with the written permission of an authorized official by the occupying agency and building entrances, lobbies, foyers, or corridors or auditoriums for news purposes. So under that umbrella, dude, you are not allowed to do anything in there with the video camera. And the fact that this is a courthouse makes it a non-traditional public forum. So once again, Joey, you completely fail at, well, understanding the basics. You know, Joey, by this point, 
My expectations of your ability to do research are so freaking low that you would have to work very hard just to disappoint me. A supervisor. A supervisor. It's a public building, sir. It's a public building. It's a public building, it's a sir. It's a constitution. Freedom of press. It's a this guy just building. took our stuff all the way outside. The administrative order, sir. What's, what's, your what's your name, sir? What's your name? What's your name? Wilkinson. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna file some complaints. Time to file complaints. Yeah, you're going against our rights. These guys just got our stuff and just manhandled it. How do we out here? Oh come on now, Joey, you are just nothing more than a giant whiny man child baby at this point at least you got your stuff back and you don't have to cry about a fourth amendment violation anymore i mean come on now dude why don't you grow up for once i mean you're damn near 50 years old start acting like you have the maturity of a 50 year old instead of a 10 year old i mean good grief are you not familiar with your sworn oath to sir Time to file complaints, man. This that policy is a policy. That don't trump the Constitution, man. We have a right to record official business here with our public employees. Oh, Joey, these officers pretty much, well, if they disobeyed the orders of the judge, the presiding judges, well, that wouldn't exactly look good for their long-term career prospects. They would certainly uh, suffer the consequences for uh, their actions if they decided to bow down and lick your boots. Because no matter how much you guys cry about boot licker this, boot licker that, you guys are the ones that want your boots licked all the damn time. Isn't that right, Joey? I know you're not wearing boots, but still, the uh, metaphor applies in this case. I'm sure you can figure that out. Here, this isn't mine. This isn't mine. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You guys are wrong. We have a right to conduct business in there with our public employees. Yeah, but we yeah, we can record. It's called freedom of press. Freedom of press. Freedom press. Coming in, sir? Would you like this? Yeah. Would you like this? Yes, thank you. Freedom of press, sir. Freedom of press. Turn it Absolutely. Yeah, there goes Lana with this freedom of the press garbage that uh, every frauditor tends to put out these days. Yeah, I have freedom of the press. Therefore, I can have more rights than anybody else alive around here. Especially you, you blue line sucker. Yeah, that's not how that works, dipshit. It basically means you can publish your stories without interference from the government. It doesn't mean that you have free reign over everything. I think you'd be doing better if you was a violator of the Constitution. Can you at least turn your badge around so I can see it? What's your badge number? What's your badge number? It's still an idea. It What's your badge number? I would like access to the building, sir. Can you come on in? I would yeah, like access. Pick it. Can I come in? Why do you turn the camera off? I, I would like access, sir. Why don't you I, turn the camera off? You can come in. Would, What's your badge I would number? Like access, sir. Freedom of press, U.S. Constitution. Ma'am, I'm first in line to go in, sir. Ma'am, the sergeant's coming. Uh, okay. You can stand I can right stand here. right here in the AC. Ma'am, you can come Yes, I can. Ma'am, so are you coming in? What's your badge number, sir? Can I, can Zero I come three in? Zero three three five. I would like to have in. in. It's, it's a in. public building. I have a right. It's Trump v. St. Petersburg. Brandsburg v. Hayes, sir. That's the case. Oh, okay. Anywhere the general yeah. is allowed, the press is allowed. I need you to stand right here. I'm going in. It's you're a not, public building. You're not coming in. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to wait right here. You can turn the recorder on. I'm not turning the recorder on. It's called freedom of press. What are you hiding? Stand Stand right here. I'm going to be right here. Stand right here. I'm trying to get access to a public building. You're impeding the floor traffic. I'm trying to go in, sir. I'm trying to go in. Can I please go in, sir? Can I please go in? Why are you touching me now? I'm not touching. Yes, you are. You're touching me. Yeah, I would like to go in, sir. Can I come in the public building? What is the issue here? What are you hiding? Oh, you're not going to let me go? Like no. Why not? Because you're recording. 
Okay, what does it have to do with anything, dude? What What's up with transparency? What law is that? It's administrative. The administrative order don't trump the Constitution, dude. You guys go. You guys are always uh, enforcing policies. Access to a public. I'm not interfering because I would like access to a public building. I'm working on a story. I would like to go into a public. These people, you're ridiculous, sir. Is he a sergeant right here? Look, look. Hey, I'm Sergeant Neary. How you doing? Sir? I would like to go into a public building, sir. Uh, negative. So why are you touching me? Well, because he's keeping you out of the building. I would like to go with what you're refusing access. What? Absolutely. For what reason? If you're going to record, absolutely. What's your name? Uh, what's your name, sir? What's your name? Sergeant Neary, 6545. Okay. All right. Well, I, oh, 5816. Oh, yeah. What, what's the reason? Now? What's the reason why we can't record in here? That that possible. Is Manatee I'm not going to argue with you. Constantly. We're going to file complaints on these. You. That's okay. it. We are. We are. But you are not allowed to. You're infringing on our rights. This is buildings. not a courthouse. He's already said Excuse that. me, ma'am. Sir, what, what the hell? Wow. Getting physical, huh? What are you doing, sir? You beat your wife, huh? Whoa, well, now, Lana. Don't you know how to control your damn mouth? I mean, you attract more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. I mean, if you wanted to get into that building, you could probably have sweet talked that officer into it and uh, gotten in. But now, because of your venomous tongue, you shall not pass. What are you doing, sir? Are you, are you done? Uh, the blue line typically. Are what are you doing? I'm, I'm trying to conduct. What, what, what law is that? What law is that? State the law on that. I would like to Excuse sir, me. what the hell? Excuse me, you're not coming in. Wow. Look at this guy, dude. This guy's like eight feet tall. How much steroids do you do a day? How many steroids do you do a day? How much? How much you shoot up? Freaking morons. You guys, you guys are infringing on our rights. In this I would like What's wrong with filming? So am I being am I being trespassed? If you try to come in the building and you're filming, you're filming. what law is this? Yes. What law is that? Thank I would you. like to trespass. Thank you. I would like to trespass. I would like to trespass. I would like to trespass. Yo, these people are tyrants, dude. Okay. Can, can I have the trespass, please? Either trespass me or not come in. Trust. Go ahead. I would like to trespass. You're interfering with the public right now. They can't come into the building. I would, I'm the come public. On in, come on in. I would like to have access to the building. Denied. Why? Because I said what, so. What the heck? Why should you, you, you keep getting in my way and touching me, you're going to get arrested. For what? Come on what would be the charge? You're pushing her, dude. Wow. You're, you're pushing right her. Right now, you're obstructing the pedestrian flow into the, into the building. She's trying to get into the building. She's trying to get in the building. I don't care what What law is that, though? What law is that? So he already said I would be arrested if I if I keep going in there. Wow. That's dude. fine. Wow. I'll dude. Be, you'll be arrested. Let's you'll file complaints. What 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 what, what department? Look at it. What department? What department look. is this? What department is this? This is the uh, Manatee County Sheriff's Department. We're gonna file complaints, dude, on absolutely. that shit for right now. You got his badge number and his name? Oh, absolutely. He said it multiple times. He said if I keep coming, trying to come in there, I'll be arrested. Yeah, just just let it go. Let it go. Oh, I am. Let it go. Yo, these people are crazy. Wow. wow, dude. Yeah, you two need to stop projecting all your faults onto everybody else. You two are the ones that are pretty much insane at this point. So let's just go ahead and enjoy the walk of shame that these two uh, get to have. Too bad neither one of them got arrested in this particular case. But let's take a little walk down memory lane where Lana and Rusty Boy ended up getting arrested at a prison. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage and enjoy every second of it. As you can see back over here, we were at uh, Coastal State Prison here in Savannah, Georgia, doing a little revisit. I'm here today with Mr. Georgia Transparency. What up? Yeah. So we're going to do a little revisit and go check it out. You know, I've been seeing the two of you together a lot lately. Have you two become an item? If that's the case, I'm sure you two make a great couple. Nice power couple within the Frauditor community. And as far as you, Russell, goes, I'm happy you found love after you lost your uh, job as a private eye. The couple who fraud us together gets arrested together. How sweet, as we shall soon see. Many unbearable hours later. 
He's coming quick. Yeah. How you doing? See what happens here, everybody. Stand by. As y'all can get uh, the yeah, tag number GV6703. F is in Foxtrot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does say Monroe. Well, it says Department of Georgia, so it could be any county. I guess they can register it in. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. What's your name, ma'am? Um, are you a are you a deputy or what are you? What well, what's your name, ma'am? You're live, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is this uh is this private property? Yes. It's not owned by the state. Oh, it's is this a oh, public it's state park property. Park? But it's state property. So if I wanted to get an open records request? Okay, y'all y'all do open are y'all subject to open records request laws? Oh. Did you get her name? No, she won't give it to me. That's okay. Yeah. Will you give me your name? Your I mean your yeah. So Right, we got a good picture of your face for you, and they'll give it to us. All right, so it's actually, actually a nice facility. Oh, yeah. How is it so nice? Are you just admiring the exterior of your future accommodations? Well, I'll tell you something. The inside is not so nice, but I'm sure you can meet up with Bubba once you get in there, and he can give you a tour of the facility and how things work, show you the ropes, you know. So you can understand where to go and where not to go. Not too bad. Let's see. Welcome in, everybody. We're here at the uh, Coastal State Prison here in Savannah, Georgia. And uh, they're already sitting there causing a fuss. And uh, trying to... I believe so. It sounds like a train, yeah. I would safely say it's a, it sounds like an engine of some sort. Y'all can probably hear that in the background. So welcome everybody, welcome everybody. Make sure you smash that like uh, like button. Oh, you're so worried about them pressing the like button. You shouldn't be worried about that because you're about to get a shiny new pair of bracelets. So let's skip ahead to that. Guard line, y'all are in violation of OCGA 42-5-14 and 42-5-17. That is a Georgia law not a policy and you all need to record and exit from beyond the guard line. Is this a public parking lot? This is not a public this is not a public parking lot. Okay, where do I need to come to visit an inmate? You would need to have permission to be here. So, so where's oh, take my keys. Arrest me. In addition to we can call the wall man. Call the police and arrest me. Call the police and arrest me. Call the police and arrest me. Okay, here, here it comes, everybody. There's the employee parking lot back there. Right. So that's where we can go. Right. Because there's a sign out there that says employee parking only. Right. So this here is public. Right. And Mr. Ford doesn't understand that he is a, uh, a public, public employee. Hey, CO, you've heard the man. He wants to be arrested. You've given him a warning, but he is not going to obey the law. So, you heard him. Arrest him. 7920. Let's see the other unit Thank number. You, All right, and that one is 7418. Is it Corporal, Corporal Rich, and what's your name, sir? What is it? Love. Love, L-O-V-E. Thank you. You can't make up law. You cannot make up laws. Maybe you should spend some time doing your research on some laws instead of acting like they don't exist. Maybe you'll be better off for it, and maybe you'll spend less time in handcuffs.
But then again, that's too much to ask out of brain-dead frauditors such as yourself. We gotta break a law. Yeah. And what's the law? Okay, so you're so you're turning a First Amendment activity into a crime. Who told you that you could just walk onto a prison and start filming? That is a high security area not open to the public. And there are good reasons for it, because that's where we keep people who don't fit in society, who can't follow the laws or follow hu simple human decency. I guarantee you that's not found in the First Amendment, you bloody moron. Sure. Calling and loitering, okay? It's when you're in a place, in a time, or manner, which is not normal under normal circumstances. The time is fine. It's daylight, they have people that come in and out, that's fine. The manner, not so much. You're outside of a prison. In a public, in a public parking lot. Said the sign. No, it's a public parking lot. So, so if I don't leave, what's... Hold on. So, part of the spelling my alarm that you're calling the loitering is identifying yourself. Not identifying yourself as my alarm because the more cause that you're going to identify yourself. And then you can explain to me why you are here. Alright? Not doing so constitute obstruction. Alright? And then you will be arrested. Which I don't want to do. Okay, so, so let me... Let me ask the all important question. So if I don't leave right now, what's going to happen? Well, right now you have to identify yourself. So if I don't identify myself, what's going to happen? You're going to be arrested for obstruction. Okay, so you're going to arrest me for obstruction. I don't want to, but if you don't identify, because I'm giving you the opportunity, I'm giving you the opportunity to dispel your alarm, or dispel my alarm. So what, but, so you're turning a constitutionally protected activity into a crime. That's what you're saying. No, you moron. You're the one who's turning this into a crime by not identifying yourself upon a legal request to do so, considering that you're on restricted property. So, dumbass, this is all on you. As far as loitering, you might want to... Can I speak to a supervisor? Can you, put, can you put two cuffs on me, please? I got a bad shoulder. I prefer to put no cuffs on you. I, we're, we're, right now, we're engaged in constitutionally protected activity, and I'm going to put you on notice right now. When this goes to court, we'll have your qualified immunity taken, okay. and then I'm going to come after you personally. I'm just going to let you know that right off the bat. Officer Love? Oh, sir. I'm in a public parking lot. Exercising my constitutional protected activity. I'm not identifying. If you want to arrest me, arrest me. In a time and a manner. I told you. In a time and a manner. We'll figure out who I am in the jail. When you, when you formally charge me, when you formally charge me, I'll tell you all my information down in the jail. But make sure, you got a corporal right here, make sure you know what you're doing. Right you better make here. sure. Okay. Okay, I hope you do. Let's ride. Let's, I don't. Okay. I haven't committed a crime. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Part of, part of it. What's your reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime? That you are here and here and that is not wrong. Oh, the first amendment is not formal. No. Oh. Have, have you, have you, can, can I ask you something, sir? Have you seen Corporal uh, Corpor Rich? Can I talk to you? Have y'all heard of uh, a, a little case law called Smith v. Cumming? Yeah, I've read it, but you don't seem to understand it. In fact, he was explaining it earlier to you, to a reasonable time, place, and manner. And this place is a high security area, so it is not a reasonable place to film law enforcement officers. Get that through your thick skull. So, Smith v. Cumming, that's our reason. So, right there, we are not loitering. We are recording government officials in their official capacity. No, apparently to you it's not. On a public park, a parking lot. That's a private. This is owned by the state, sir. That is, makes it public. That makes it public. So you might want to. I'm just telling you right now. We literally could have.
This is a public parking lot, sir. So you're making a you're going to make a very big mistake if the, if you do something. So your argument does not hold water. Paris Island, the, the East Coast Recruitment Depot for the United States Marine Corps is owned by the federal government. But are you going to be able to walk onto the base unchallenged as a civilian who is A, not employed there, or B, has no family there without being challenged by the guards and most likely arrested for not identifying yourself. I mean, get real. One hour later. What crime have I committed? Once again, probably an loitering. Okay, for gathering news content. <laughs> you don't need to. It's America. It's America. United States of America. I don't need to. We're not in Nazi Germany. What are you, a freaking brown shirt now? Give me your ID. Listen to what you're saying. You want us to sit there and give us your our ID? That right? You want us to give your uh, me your? You want me to identify because you uh, basically I hurt these guys' feelings with a camera. You're suspicious and you're trying to sit there and turn this into a crime. That's despicable, sir. That is absolutely despicable. That really is. That's disgusting. And I'm hoping that that these that the people that are watching will peacefully redress their government. You're making your, your, your department look really, really bad right now. Really horrible. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. And you said the supervisor's on the way. Okay, that's fine. I've got plenty of battery. One hour later. M-O-O-R-E? Okay, thank you. Which is against the law for y'all to be here. What law? The corrections officer stated earlier what the laws were, but you just dismissed them out of hand as non-existent. Well, you're about to find out how real they are. All right, it's, it's against the law because at this point I'm going to place you under arrest. Okay. All right, y'all. Uh, looks like we—he's gonna be arresting. See, we'll see what happens. I didn't, he told me I was detained. <laughs> I couldn't leave. <laughs> I couldn't leave. He told me I was detained. So, I mean, how am I going to You two look absolutely spectacular in those matching set of bracelets. Now, I'm sure Jayton Press is going to eventually ask you for a matching set of wedding rings. Yeah, Russell, you should settle down with this one. I mean, you two would be perfect together. Get some nice matching mug shots together. I mean, that would be a beautiful wedding gift to your new bride. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley.
You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?